Welcome back to the Engineerable channel. I'm going to show how to add a foot pedal to this hydraulic press. So in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade this air hand switch that the hydraulic press comes with to a foot switch so that you have better, safer control. It allows you to operate the hydraulic press hands-free such that you can use your hands to hold the piece you're working on. This is a Black Widow brand 20 ton hydraulic shop press but in addition to the standard lever operation it's also air operated so the installation procedure I'm going to show here to add a foot switch to this hydraulic press will apply to just about any hydraulic press that has an air operated hydraulic cylinder so the air control this hydraulic press comes with is just a manual hand air switch and you push down like this. But as you just saw right there, which what happened is it's stuck. It's got a lock. Yeah, sell that little. Yeah, it's got a little latch, a little locking latch, which is dangerous. Yeah, why would you want treacherous? It? I don't know why you want it to lock out like that. Black Widow. That's how it got its name. <laughs> that lock. <laughs> <laughs> if you're holding the switch up like this, then you run the risk of it like catching and then holding and grabbing so if you're holding it like this it's not going to catch of course but it's kind of like the wrong way yeah so i'm not crazy about this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach a foot pedal to it i told you hey no worries i like it it's in like yeah you're like little john back there like yeah what it's not lined up <laughs> what do you say about sandwiches that boy is dangerous. This is the foot valve I'll be using. Something I picked up off Amazon. It's got a uh, cover on it. I want it with a cover so I wouldn't inadvertently press it. The cover is just uh, plastic and it's just over a generic foot valve. You can buy just these foot valves like that too without the plastic cover. So it has three ports on the back and there's one inlet and then I think there's one normally open and one normally closed but there's no instructions that came with it that tell you how to do it so you just kind of have to figure it out it's labeled a b and p p i assume is the input port it looks like b is going to be normally open and a is going to be normally closed so p is in fact the input port a is the normally closed output and b is normally open so you're going to have to put a plug into b because air will just come out of b and it doesn't come with a plug or anything, so you have to have your own plug. So I'm going to remove the cover for right now until we've connected all the, everything up to the back. It'll be easier just to reach that stuff. Uh, and when you remove the cover, there's these metal spacers that go in between the switch and the cover. So those are going to have to be put back in there when you put it back together. This is going to be the outlet for the normally closed. So P is in fact the input port, A is the normally closed output, and B is normally open. So you're going to have to put a plug into B because air will just come out of B and it doesn't come with a plug or anything so you have to have your own plug. Here when it's plugged in and I release the pedal, air is going to shoot out of B. You push the pedal down, the air goes into A, and B is shut off. So we're going to plug up that port B with this plug because I don't want a normally open outlet. These are all one quarter inch NPT ports and fittings. Some of these fittings didn't go deep at all. This plug went pretty deep. This fitting was very difficult to put in, and this fitting went in a little bit deeper. So it just depends on how the fitting is manufactured. And the question now is, how well does this foot pedal work? And the answer is quite fantastic. As you can see here, I've taken out my hand lever, so it's just hanging down. And I've left this original hand switch in place because it kind of acts like a safety. So like right now, the hand switch is open, and if I push on the pedal, nothing happens. And so I can close this hand switch, and it's got the always on latch on it anyways. And then if I want to turn it off to keep from hitting the foot pedal accidentally or make it safer then I can just push that and the latch falls off 
and it's not going to operate anymore. So if I latch it, leave it on, now it operates. You can hear it working and the piston extends. Pressing into this block of wood and the gauge up here is not even registering anything. A nice job of crushing a hole in that block of wood. And since I don't have anything better to press right now, I'll just press this nail into this block of wood. So overall, I'm really pleased with how this foot pedal worked out on this hydraulic press. It really makes a huge difference in the usability of it, the ease of use, because now you don't need to use your hand to hold on that switch. That switch won't auto lock on you. You release the foot pedal, it stops right away, and you have the switch as a safety feature to release it also. In fact, if you're gonna be using the air operated feature of this hydraulic press, which I don't see why you wouldn't, I feel like this foot pedal upgrade is essential.